All right, here we go this morning. We're going to take and put the glass into the basin. You notice I've taped the, taped the glass up here right up to the edge or back about a sixteenth or so because I'm going to be running a bead of caulking about a half inch away from this wall right here all the way around and then sit the glass in there. Some may ooze up and I don't want it to get all over this right here for right now and after, after I put this in and and it beds in the, in the uh, silicone. We're going to be uh, uh, washing this off, cleaning it off, removing the tape, and getting ready to put the metal. Oops! Put the metal in on top of the glass, also with silicone. We'll be four to five in the angles for the corners, and uh, you know, making a fit and sinking these in. And there's a little bit of prep on the aluminum that I'll uh, show you when we get there. All right, onward. Okay, quick word about the uh, installation on this silicone is you want to work fast. I'm just going to cut a small tip off of this to lay probably a quarter inch wide bead across to here. You don't want a lot. You don't want a lot of gushing and a lot of uh, mess to clean up. Uh, so that's mess control. And again, Glove up. I wish somebody would make these things in a little larger size. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put this camera down, work fast, go around uh, the edge, and then put the glass in. I've got it ready to go over here. And putting the glass in, uh, seat it. Okay, <clears throat> that's installed. You see I have a little bit of uh, silicone coming up through the uh, through the side right here but it's not enough that it doesn't it isn't coming up far enough to be a problem I'm running this blade across it right here I'm coming up with very little there's nothing to wipe off so I must be getting good at this <coughs> done a few so there we go, we put that on there and now uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a thin layer of, of, thin set of silicone on this wall right here. I'll put it on the wall, it's just a thin layer, just to bed. What's coming next is be the metal. So just a little bit of thin set on this, or <laughs> silicone on this, uh, on this wall and that would be a thin coat. Okay, I've saved this last little, about a foot of it, to show you what I'm doing here. Laying a thin bead. Hope you can see this okay. Laying a thin bead down on the wall. Get my one inch putty knife, drawing it across. Coat the, coat the wall. Well, I know you can't see this now. Okay. Take your blade to get any off the top right here. Cut it like this. Make this smooth so when the aluminum goes in, it isn't all bumpy on there. Although you're not going to get it perfect, but you want to get it smooth. And there you go. Now we're going to let this set or uh, dry out and cure so that there won't be any stickiness when I go to apply and uh, fit the aluminum edge on here. So I want to let this tack up or tack up. Yeah, I want to let it cure. So that again, there's no stickiness. Now I've drugged the trowel, or drugged this uh, putty knife against the glass and, and across this way so that there's nothing sticking up in this corner. All right, we want to make everything flat here and flat on this corner, smooth. I guess the best thing to say is know when to say when. 
you know troweling over troweling something some material like this can be bad because it skins over and then you keep draw, dragging the skin and it builds up and it's a mess so uh, work fast work smooth and uh, you'll do a good job all right all right here we go this is going to start the installation of the aluminum angle and what I've done here is you see I've cut the angles in here now they don't have to be exactly perfect uh, fitting together because that's that's not the aluminum is not what's making the seal this the silicone underneath this is what will be making the seal so cut all uh, cut all of the pieces to fit into the corners and 45 them you want to clean the glass underneath of here and what I've done is I put tape the distance away from the uh, angle right here so it'll be a minimum cleanup after I put this in. Now you see where it might have a little bit of flex in here you want to use a few little clamps I'll probably use a few little clamps maybe a, something to sit on it to, to hold it in place. Now uh, when I put it in I want to make sure that it's down along the glass and not like bumped up and and whatnot is that so you'll have a, a flat across the bottom as much as you can all right and that's what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to apply the silicone. Let me get this out of here again. We'll put a thin bead of the, or a good fat bead of the silicone in here. I'll probably wipe it down with a with with the one inch trial a one inch uh, putty knife. So thin it out. I'll lay another bead and then mash the uh, angle into that bead to where it comes out over here it comes out here it comes out up on the top and I know the seal is full of silicone so that'll be my next step and uh, we'll get back to you when I've got accomplished that and uh, we'll water test the unit okay another tip right here is I've cut the pieces and then right here I've labeled them doesn't matter how you label them uh, just so you know where they go when you put them in so I've labeled each one uh, in this case, I've labeled them front, back, left, and right. Now, another thing on this right here is what I've done is I've sanded the back of this angle with a real rough 80 grit paper. And that'll give it some tooth for the silicone to grip onto and help us seal it. Okay. Along with the sanding, before installation, just before, I'm going to wipe this back surface of the angle with lacquer thinner just to make sure that there's all the grease off of it, any kind of, you know, grease off my hands or oils or dirt or anything is gone from there and we have a nice clean surface. Also, I'm going to wipe this area right here with a little lacquer thinner just to make sure that it's the same. It's all clean and ready to go. Okay, I've bedded the angle in the silicone. You see, I put, uh, <clears throat> first I say I put the bead in the very corner and then smeared it out against the uh, glass and then put another bead and mashed it into there, allowing it to ooze out here at the top, at the bottom. This has been cured now, not dry or not uh, sticky anymore. Then what I'll do is just come along with a knife, cut that off, cut that off, take the uh, tape off, and clean it up, and it should be ready for a water test. Okay, we've got one completed basin here. Sure looks good. All right, got jet black here. Love it, love it. Now, uh, so I've cleaned this up, took that uh, painter's tape off of it. And on the second thought there, uh, during the video making of it, I, I could have uh, told you you could tape this off. Uh, also, with the tape, you could uh, put the tape on here, on this aluminum, and then uh, cut it off to the edges. And But, you know, if you don't make a mess when you put it in, it doesn't take long to clean off. So it cleaned up well, and this is now ready for a water test. So I'll get some water, we'll dump her in there and uh, check the level and see what's up. Okay, <clears throat> where we are, 
got a couple buckets of water down here and gonna be slow bailing them their full buckets this is the beginning of the water test here 10 p.m. I'm dipping a little water out of here out of these buckets before I can lift them up. I don't want to make a big splash kind of deal out of this. And I'm going to load it up with uh, got 10 gallons here, two five gallon buckets. So that's the start of it and uh, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, here we go YouTube. This is the uh, Results of the test, the water test. Uh, this is about uh, 6 p.m. A day and a half later. So this is uh, this is just like about four hours of being uh, two days of sitting here with water in it. We're gonna check the leaks. Check four leaks. You can see there's nothing here. All dry. No leak. No leak. around to the dark side so I'm going to use the flashlight here there's no sign of any leak at all no leaks and you say this see this, this dark stripe right here this is a silhouette of something I laid on here and painted at one time that's not a water leak that's not water at all that's just plain bare wood still no leak there we go no leaks so now I'm going to take the water out and build the top so here's the results of the test and here we go